Thank you for joining this talk. My name is Ning Yu. I'm going to present our recent ICCV21 paper. This work is done in collaboration with Guilin, Aisha, Andrew, Brian, Larry, and Mario. We propose several improvements to push the frontier in image generation. Generative adversarial networks evolved fast in the past seven years for photorealistic generation. However, the uncurated generations are still not perfect. Artifacts include the sketch, the pixels, or duplicated parts. As we know, GAN training includes four major components, data, loss, architectures, and optimization. In this work, in order to make improvements for its performance, we retouch two of them, the loss and the architectures. In terms of the loss, traditional adversarial losses are formulated as sample-wise binary classification. While our contrastive loss is formulated as batch-wise pick one out classification instead. In case one, one real versus a batch of fakes, where the loss is a cross entropy between the discriminator prediction in a batch and the one hot ground truth. The one hot indicates the only one real outlier. Dually in case two, one fake versus a batch of reals. So the final loss is a summation over all the contrastive combinations. In the experiments, dual contrastive loss significantly outperforms several other losses, including the non-saturating cross-entropy loss in style GAN2. Our second contribution comes with the architectures. It first comes with the generator. Because the attention modules have shown improvements in recognition tasks but are still missing in the state-of-the-art style GAN2 generator, we are naturally curious how if we replace one layer of convolution with self attention in its generator. The motivation is clear, the convolutional kernel is spatially local and stationary, while the attention kernel is spatially adaptive and has a long range. Therefore, we incorporate the current state-of-the-art self-attention module into the generator. It first comes with a key, query, and value calculation. Then we learn a fully connected layer to interact between each query vector and a key patch. Then we weigh the value tensor with the attention map and use the residual layer for the final output. We play with various self-attention modules in the generator. All of them improve the generation quality for several datasets in terms of FID metric, while the state-of-the-art one improves the most. We know that improvement is not at the cost of model complexity. It has comparable number of flops and trainable parameters to style GAN2. So we conclude the improvement comes from the stronger representation. We visualize the attention maps given query positions in the generated images. We can see the weights of the attention maps strongly aligned to the semantic layout in a long range of cross objects. A natural follow-up thought is to try the same self-attention in the discriminator. But unfortunately, it hurts the FID no matter how we tune the design. This is due to the observation that the discriminator already overpowers the generator, so a stronger representation in the discriminator doesn't help. So it comes with our own insights of attention module in the discriminator. Instead of self-attention, we propose to replace one layer of convolution with our reference attention. We introduce an arbitrary real image as a reference input, feed it through a Siemens branch along with the primary real fake input until a certain layer, and attend the primary feature with the reference feature. Here's the self-attention as we just saw. The only difference is to change the source that calculates the key and the query to the reference image. The insight is, just like data augmentation in classification, we augment data here in the feature level through reference attention formulation so as to robustify discriminator training and make it more balanced between generator and the discriminator. Here comes the comparisons. The last row shows the reference attention improves FID. Because all of our contributions are orthogonal to each other, finally when we combine them together, we show our progressive and consistent improvements over style GAN2. Our final model achieves at least 17% FID improvements over several datasets. Here are some qualitative results. The last row shows our better results. We show the, the common artifacts of style GAN2 in the red frames. Our code and models are available online. Thank you for listening.